going to start working on the cross slide now. That's going to move this direction along with this direction. Hopefully we can also get a little bit of rotation in there too. That way I really have total movement on the cross slide. And I found a really awesome piece for my cross slide that was already built and I had laying around in the metal pile. So stay tuned for that. I found this in my metal pile and it's really going to work perfectly for my cross slide. I'll cut this mount off obviously and then I'll cut this end off wherever I'd like my length to be. And the cool thing about this is it has a really solid rail on it. It's just rock solid. I love that about this. That way I can minimize chatter as much as possible when it's actually spinning some material. And then the coolest, coolest part about this, I know it gets cooler, it actually has full rotation on this piece. These are two of the directions that I need to move already built for me. So I'm gonna get started on that. I need to cut this piece down to size, figure out how I'm gonna mount this onto the slide that's on there now. right here and actually fits really good I'm very happy with it that keeps it as low to the slide as possible that way when the chuck comes out up here I still have enough room to get that piece in then the slide here fits right on top of this and I'll cut it off you know as close as I can right here that way I get just just a little bit of room there just enough for this thing to slide through here guys bolted on now I only put two of the bolts in for now because I figured that it's a little easier to take off with two and I probably will end up needing to take this off and on a few times four will go in later and I may end up tapping a few more into the ends too but it's looking pretty good it's hard to get perfect and I will have to shim this around a little bit to get this level I think I'm gonna have to grind off the top of these bolts just a little bit there's just a little lip so I'm gonna grind those off 
put the rail back on this thing or start cutting the rail in such a way that I can get it as close to this as possible. That way I can have as much room between the cross slide and the middle of the lathe chuck that I can. another slide um, going back and forth this direction. I don't think I'm actually going to do that and the reason is I have this one already which is not very fine and that's why I originally wanted to go this way is because this was kind of a it was a big movement it's kind of the first one I did and I it wasn't as quite as fine as I would have hoped it would have been and I could change that I could go through and put a new rail in and a new end gear on. I don't think I'm going to because I'm able to use this as well I have I think it's I think it's like five inches of travel in this and then this has you know two foot of travel so I can bring my tool down lock this in place run this for five inches and then if I need to go more I can move this again and run it for another five inches you know or vice versa the closest it'll probably ever be is in here so I just I think that this will be just fine and this will probably have to move to the back That'll be just fine. So now I just have to get the motion this way and the tool on top. And I think that'll be fairly easy to do. I'm gonna go to the store and kind of look around, see if I can't find anything that might make this a little easier rather than using that big C-clamp. I do like the C-clamp, but I think I'd like it to be a little finer than the C-clamp actually. Um, I think I'd like it to, to move a little less. I may get some ready rod and a few nuts and bolts and try and get this to work. I've been trying to figure out how I want to connect this rod to my slide here. And I think the way I'm going to do it, on this end here, I'll plate up this and out, kind of out here, and I'll plate this to right on the other side of this here. And then on this end, I'm going to do the same thing. For this section right here, where the slide connects to the rod, I think I'm going to bolt off of here and here, do another plates, just straight out, and then weld this bolt to the bottom of this plate.
got to a point where I like now where when I twist this, the slide moves back and forth, so that's awesome. Now the only thing I really have left to do is kind of just clean up some of these edges here. I'm gonna chop, you know, just any excess metal. I'm just gonna cut it all off now. Make it look a little nicer, a little bit smoother and cleaner. Um, this will get plated and look nice later when I get the tool mount kind of figured out for it. I just threw a quick little handle on this and the drill bit actually broke off in there which actually worked out fine because it works as a stud now. I may end up stiffening up these bars here. They're a little bit thinner than I probably should have made them. I want to get something turning on it, find out where my weak links are that way. Episode 3 will be coming out next Friday so be sure to subscribe for that. Remember to like and share these videos with your friends. That really helps these builds out. Thank you for watching.